What's up guys, Dutogira here. Welcome to our eighth attempt. Magus is one of my greatest achievements. Look at him. To clear Chromagus on heroic. We suffered from a crash uh, last time. So And I was in the loading, it wasn't like I crashed while I was about to beat it. Um, but yeah. Maybe I just need to play the Shrinkmeister turn too. The rest of these I can't keep. Probably do need to play that turn too. I gave him two heads. Oh well. We have the Cabal, so that'll be kind of useful. I think. Let's see, given that he just had to clear the Shrinkmeister, I can clear red with no minions on his board. So there goes red. Next up is blue. I, infused him with I don't care that much about blue. But quite honestly, I think it's worth clearing. Um, just by virtue of the fact that next turn I can do Shadowward Pain and clear bronze, which I do care about. So, Shadowward Pain, clear bronze. Bronze just lets him flood too much. Black is up next. Don't really care about black. Not that much. I mean, it gives him a lot of value, but I think this is one of those turns where I actually have to take the Chromatic Dragonkin. Oh boy. Let's see, I can clear black then, and... Uh, death that. Clear black. Death. I guess I have to ignore the Blackwing tech. That's fine. I can Holy Fire the Dragon Consort. And now I should be able to clear the Blackwing tech. Twilight Drake. Oh, I have the Shrink My Stricker Ball combo. Oh, baby. Never mind. Never mind. Got him. We got him. Oh, he's going to mill himself. What? Wow. No. Well then. Let's see, we have red. Don't care that much about red. I'm taking this thing. Let me change your I then need to start working on clearing away these afflictions. So I can Shadow Madness you, you'll get buffed up to a 4-5, I can then clear you, with these two I can clear you, I can clear red, I should probably clear bronze, actually, so he doesn't board flood me, but I think I need the health more, so I'm going to clear red, I'm going to blow a circle of healing here, and I'm going to heal myself, and I'm going to clear his armor. I may actually need to clear green, but... Oh, another green! Oh, baby. Okay, hang on a second here. Clear you. Let's play another Drake. Let's clear you. Let's clear you. Let's clear the bronze, maybe. Sure, we'll clear the bronze, and we'll heal. Fill. Uh, we'll heal self. I'm not taking that much damage right now. Skill strike doesn't do much to me. Although he does finally get to clear the 16-4. That's kind of a prob. Never mind. He didn't clear it. Not red. Black. Okay. Um, in that case, clear you, holy fire you, clear you, play 
a light well, heal you, and clear one well. His... Oh, okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Another green. Oh man, I need an eye now. Or something. Vulging you. Clear you. Kill that. Clear black. And heal self. He can't kill this with flame strike or bite or anything. Uh oh. Uh, shut up. Now clear blue. Heal self. I'm okay with all of these greens. I want an Akanai. Um. Here come the voodoo. Clear that. Hit face. I can clear Nas next turn with these two. Or he can clear Nas for me. That's fine. Because I can clear that. And I can get rid of black. So there goes black. Clear you. Heal and pass. It's fine. Oh man. Is someone injured? Oh, I got red too. That sucks. Am I gonna mill for one? I am. At least that wasn't an Auk and I. Um, right away. Hit there. Oh. Light bomb. And play a Drake. I can take the damage off of Red for now. That's fine. I can fix anything. Another green. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. The amount of potential value if I can just get a darn dock and I. Okay, clear you, heal you, and just leave that sitting around. I have to clear something. How many is this? You know what? If I top deck Auk and I, it's fine. I'm just gonna clear a green. I think I want those cards off of the top of my deck. Akanai, hit, circle, heal his face, pass. Dragon Consort is perfectly fine. Got him down to 28, oh my. Okay, well... Uh, if that Akanai gets cleared, we have a problem. Can I prevent that in any way? No. At the start of my turn. Hmm. I can't Alex him. Just gonna play Tharazon. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm gonna mill one. Crap. Well, oh wait, he's out of cards. He's literally out of cards. My hand is too full. I just need to start clearing brood afflictions. Clear a green, Alex self. Black is uh, actually really good because he'll double fatigue. Right? Nope. I guess blacks don't count as cards. Bronzes are fine too. I will mourn your Okay, we just outlasted Chromagus. Um I might as well clear what is 
useless to me, so those two can go. I'm okay with making this game take forever. Oh, there we go. Clear blue. Play Velen. And go ahead and go face. And I wanna I wanna just OTK him. Oh no. Okay. So clear red. Heal self. Play Auk and I. Got him. Watch the overkill. That's 12, 12, 12, and 12. Ouch. He got hit for 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. Ooh. 12 times 5. That's 60 damage in one turn, actually. We got him! So if you guys came to see me beat Chromagus on Heroic, then I did it. That was the deck I used. If you came to see me discuss why I did what I did and um, deck choices, then this is where things get interesting. First off, though, for those of you who um, are thinking to copy this deck to use it and clear Chromagus yourself, be aware this did take me... Webcam, wake up. This is not the time. Hey. Oh, come on, really? Whatever. Um, this did take me, like, I think eight attempts. Um, and on top of that, Priest is not the best class to clear Chromagus with. It's absolutely not. The only reason I cleared Chromagus with Priest is because I cleared all of Nax on Heroic with Priest. I have so far cleared all of Blackrock on Heroic with Priest. It's just a thing. I clear everything on Heroic with Priest. Priest is not the best class for this. Warlock is. Because you can use cards like Soulfire, um, Mistress of... Or not Mistress of Pain, um... Succubus, and Doomguard to abuse discard mechanics to discard the brood afflictions that Chromagus gives you. Warlock is best for this. This is not the best possible deck to clear Chromagus with. So I don't want to see anybody giving me flack for saying this deck didn't work for me. That's fine if it doesn't work for you. It only had to work once for me to prove it could be done. Now that that's out of the way. <laughs> the entire idea of this deck is a Theft Priest deck. As you guys saw when I won here, uh, one of the really powerful minions that Chromagus has is a 2-mana two 2-3 two, that is like the Chromatic Dragon Kin. And every time your opponent casts a spell, it gets plus 2, plus 2. Uh, obviously, this means that it's it becomes very difficult to clear Brood Afflictions when Chromagus has it. On the other hand, if you take it with Cabal, or with Shadow Madness Recombobulator, Chromagus, especially if you take it with Cabal, Chromagus doesn't play around it. He doesn't stop casting spells. He just buffs the crap out of it. And you basically end up Cabaling like a 16-16. So that's really, really busted powerful. The other thing this deck aimed to do was to kill Chromagus in one turn via a bunch of Brood Affliction Greens in your hand, combined with Akanai Soul Priest and Prophet Velen. I spiked him for 60 at the end there, even though he was in fatigue. Basically, I dealt with this whole deck. The, um, and this is useful because what you can do is, assuming Chromagus has kind of a weak opener, which in my game he did, he won't always, but you gotta get a little lucky, you can start clearing a lot of the Brood Afflictions, which give him so much value. You can clear Brood Affliction Brew... Or not Brew, Blue. You can clear Brood Affliction um, Bronze, which you have to clear. Letting him play minions for three less mana, he's just going to, you know, flood you. And you're going to lose in that turn. Um, and you can hopefully clear Brood Affliction Black as well, which lets him get hyper value out of his deck. Because every card is doubled. Hopefully you're able to do that. If not, eh, you might not be in a winning spot. Um, from there, the entire deck is just aimed at dealing with Chromagus's minions. He plays a lot of really powerful minions. So you've got Holy Fires to deal with his 5-5s. Five you've got Deaths to deal with things like um, Draconid Crushers and uh, Nixia and Nosdormu and Alexstrasza. You've got Vol'jin to help do that. You've got big, beefy Twilight Drakes to help you clear minions. You've got your own big minions in Alexstrasza and Tharzan. 
who's, by the way, in here to make the brood afflictions cheaper so you can clear those. And yeah, you've got Shrinkmeister and Cabals as a combo to deal with his Twilight Drakes. Um, yeah. And then, of course, you have Lightwells to deal with Brood Affliction Red, because nobody likes Brood Affliction Red, but if you can heal for three every turn and make it effectively a dead card, you don't have to clear it, and gaining three mana per turn off of that is pretty good. So anyway... That's how I beat Chromagus. That's the deck I used, and that's why I built it the way I did. Again, I don't know if this is really optimal for beating Chromagus. I highly doubt it, but it worked. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.